Okay, so can we all agree that this pandemic has been an experience like no other? I mean, the craziest things are happening. I heard of this church that they've been, they've been a church for nearly 24 years, but they're starting to offer in-person services. Can you figure that, really? In-person services, that's a thing now? It used to be that, hey, we have online services. We do live streaming. That's a new thing we're doing. Now the new thing is in person. Go figure. I mean, when else could that have happened except in a time of a pandemic? It's just crazy. So I want to give you a few more things that, that we are doing here at Canopy Roads to be ready for in-person worship on the 31st. We're taking uh, steps uh, and, and taking that very seriously to be well prepared. We don't want to be a place that spreads COVID-19. So uh, I'm in the worship center now, as you can tell, and we've taken out every other row. So um, the rows are distance at least six feet apart. And also between the rows, uh, there's aisles, including down the middle of the worship center, we've created an aisle there so that there's adequate space so that groups of, of chairs will be uh, adequately spaced apart and the, the chairs are either in groups of five or six in the worship center so we're going to add another level of social distancing because we, we believe that social distancing is very important in fact that's probably the most important mitigating technique that is being used during this this pandemic so if you don't get close enough to people to touch them or breathe in the, the viruses that they're breathing out then you won't get COVID so it's just that simple. So we're taking that very seriously. And in here, in addition to the, the, the social distancing in terms of a distance uh, space between where people are, are seated, we want, are going to ask people to sit by families so that everybody in a group of seats is gonna be in the same family. They're already in contact with each other. So that's gonna add a whole nother level of, of uh, safety to the social distancing. Now, something else we're, we're we're doing this Sunday and, and for the next few weeks is we're going to reduce the amount of singing that we would normally do on a Sunday morning. Apparently singing is one of the more high risk behaviors that we can do in closed space during the pandemic, because when you're singing, you're expelling more air forcefully. So the particles go further and you're extent and you're, you're blowing out more particles from inside kind of gross, right? So, but we need to, Take that into consideration and understand the science of that. So we're only going to do one song at the end of the service. Just like we've been doing online for the last few weeks, we're going to do the message first and then one song at the end. The song lasts about four minutes and then we will exit. Uh, after that, all doors in the worship center will be opened as well as the, the doors in the, uh, uh, the overflow rooms. So people will be able to, to exit fairly quickly. So we won't stay in an enclosed space for very long with, uh, with the possibility of breathing in what someone who is asymptomatic might have come to the church with a disease and, and uh, would be able to, to transmit it. Uh, so that's one thing that we're doing. In addition to sitting as families, so social distancing by families, and, uh, and then uh, the not singing, we also uh, are going to uh, ask our volunteers and our staff when they're not on stage at least, to wear a mask. Now, you may choose to wear a mask if you want to, you may choose not to wear a mask. When we go to public places around here, like going to Publix or Walmart or one of the other stores, some people have on masks, some don't. Uh, some places uh, require the employees to wear masks, some places don't. So mask, uh, I guess there's, there's conflicting evidence about how effective masks are. It just makes sense to me that if you have the disease, a mask, and you have a mask on, then it's gonna block some of the particles coming out of your mouth. It's just, you know, it's, just, it's, it's logical. Uh, if you have a mask on and uh, you are breathing in air and you're breathing it through multiple layers of a cloth, then some of the, what you breathe in is gonna be trapped uh, in, in those layers of the, the mask. So it just makes sense that wearing a mask could be helpful. So if you want to wear a mask, we encourage you to, we, we, uh, we welcome you to do that. So uh, don't feel like you have to do that. And, and if you think that wearing a mask is dumb, then just keep that to yourself, okay? Because we don't make fun of people who wear flip-flops and shorts here or people have on a coat and tie. This is a place, Canopy Roads has always been a grace place, a place where you can come and worship God, where you can come and, and seek God. 
and, and you can come as you are. And we want to keep it that way during this pandemic. So regardless of where you fall on the, on the spectrum of, I think we should just forget about this social distancing and all of those things and just go back to normal, or whether you think, well, it's way too soon to be back together and we need to do all of these things that we started doing two months ago, and it's just way too early to, to come back together and everybody needs to wear a mask and, uh, and so forth. What, wherever you fall on that spectrum, let's just give grace to each other. Let's just make sure that, that we love each other through this and uh, we embrace each other uh, in, in that regard. And, and also, I would encourage you to not shake hands, to not hug each other, unless you're in the family. Uh, we don't want to be a place where the virus spreads. And look, I, some of you may think that's taking it way too far, and you can choose to do that somewhere else. But we're also a witness to the community. So we don't want people who are coming here um, who are, are afraid of the virus, but they are hungry for God. We don't want them to come here and think, wow, those people don't care anything about this. So I, I know that we have differences of opinion about what we should do with masks and, and touching and so forth, but please let's respect uh, the, the, uh, the concept of social distancing and respect that, that some people want to wear masks, some people don't. Uh, some people might want to shake hands and others not, but let's just, let's just not do that here. So I encourage you to, to not do that uh, here on site. You can do that somewhere else if you want to, but uh, I encourage you to respect that here. Let's, let's be respectful of people who may come seeking Christ and, uh, and may have great fears. So in fact, the fears may have uh, brought them to the point where they want to seek Christ. So I hope that you're going to be here Sunday. Uh, if you feel safe, I hope you will come. Uh, it's going to be a great day. I don't expect it to be high attendance Sunday. I'm not naive about that because I think a lot of people probably should stay home because they are at, at high risk for contracting the disease and also uh, having potentially a, a very serious uh, bout with the disease. So uh, whatever you feel like God leads you to do, you come. We will welcome you here or we'll welcome you online. We'll still be doing that every week going forward. So 930 this Sunday, the 31st, will be an in-person service. 11 o'clock will be our online service. So have a great week, and we'll look forward to seeing you either in person or online.